creating and managing classes. Of course, you're going to want your students to get into Breakout EDU as well. Click on My Classes. This is an area where you manage all of your groupings of students. Create a class for every grouping that you teach with as many students as needed. If you create a class that is no longer needed, you can use the three dots in the lower right hand corner to archive or delete. There are two ways to create a class. Let's start with importing. Click on Import Class in the center of the page. This is for folks who have rosters in either ClassLink, Google, or Microsoft. You can simply bring those rosters in by hitting Import. We connect between Breakout EDU and the place you've chosen to import from. Click on Update to make sure the information is the most recent information in that area. And then check it off. That's what you want to import before you click Import. It's as simple as that. That's how you create a class from a roster in either ClassLink, Google, or Microsoft. If you do not have rosters already in ClassLink, Google, or Microsoft, no worries. Go ahead and hit Create a Class, give your class a name, and then click Save. Once you've created a class, you can now invite students to join. There are some instructions that you can download and provide students on how to create an account or join your class. See the six digit code? You copy that code and give it to your students. Your students, if they have not already done so, will need to create an account to join your class. So they would go to student.breakoutedu.com and sign up. Students who already have an account will simply log in. They need that code in order to create an account. Once you have your class created, you can then go to the appropriate class tile to manage your class. You'll notice that you have information on it about the number of students and if you have games waiting approval. Enter your class to see the class roster and a tile for each student. You can also click on View Student Detail button and see information like lock of the day streaks, games that the students have played, and achievements that they've earned from you or any other teacher. This is how they earn achievements. It would be a great way to encourage them. We'll talk more about that later, as well as assigning games, tracking progress of assigned games, tracking progress of lock of the day, and the game approval process, as well as the class library. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about unlocking the love of learning.